Ricky Raccoon here, and this is a Zoom Animal Chat. <laughs> Ricky Raccoon here, and welcome to the Green Ranger's Monarch Butterfly Habitat. This is my younger brother, Bandit. Hi. And what are you working on, Bandit? I was documenting the growth of these monarch butterflies in my nature diary before you interrupted me. Drawing the plants and animals that you observe in nature is a wonderful way to learn about the world around you. Wow, that is a really great cocoon. That's a chrysalis. Moths come from cocoons. Butterflies come from chrysalises. <laughs> All this talk of butterflies and chrysalises reminds me of my good friend Monica, the monarch butterfly. Let's meet her now. <laughs> Greetings, your majesty. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Green Rangers. What are you doing? Uh, uh, I, I always bow in the presence of royalty. Oh, ho, ho. while our name was inspired by Prince William of Orange, who became King of England, monarch butterflies aren't actually monarchs. I knew that. So, Monica, where are you right now? Hanging out on the California coast. I'm roosting in this butterfly grove with 20,000 of my closest friends. We're waiting for the weather to warm up to start our migration north to Canada. So monarch butterflies, or Danis plexippus, migrate? Just like some birds? Yes, we're the only butterflies to do so. Like birds, we travel from one region to another during certain seasons. But unlike birds, our journey is multi-generational. It can take as many as four generations of monarch butterflies to make the journey north. Wait, so you'll never make it to Canada? I won't, but my great-grandchildren will. Well, what will happen to you? I will fly north, mate, lay my eggs and die. We monarch butterflies live for two to six weeks. That is so sad. I'm participating in a proud tradition that dates back millions of years. It's what I was born to do. What happens after your great-grandchildren make it to Canada? They will mate, lay their eggs, and die. Then, as the weather cools, their children, or my great Great grandchildren will fly all the way back here. They fly south all in one trip? We call them a super generation. They will spend the winter in California, then they will mate, lay their eggs, and die. And the next generation will begin the trip north. So next year, your great, 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 great grandchildren will make it to Canada. You're getting it. That's a lot of birthdays to remember. Let's talk about the four stages of butterfly development. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. We'll take them one at a time. Number one, egg. We monarch butterflies lay our eggs on a plant called milkweed. We only lay one egg at a time, but we'll do that as many as 500 times. Number two, larva. When an egg hatches, a tiny larva, or caterpillar, emerges. Monarch caterpillars are very picky eaters. While adult monarchs will feed on nectar of many types of flowers, oh! <sighs> Monarch caterpillars will only eat one thing, milkweed. Just like teenagers, caterpillars will eat and eat and eat and eat, and eat! Number three, pupa. In about two weeks, when the caterpillar is around two inches long, they pupate and make a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar will undergo a dramatic metamorphosis. 
Number four, adult. After spending nine to 14 days in the chrysalis, a full-grown adult butterfly will emerge. And they will be up and flying in an hour! Monarch butterfly wings are, are so beautiful. They might look beautiful to you and me, but to would-be predators like birds, our orange and black wings are a warning. They say, danger! Do not eat or else. Or else what? Or else you might get a tummy ache. Milkweed contains cardiac glycosides or cardenolides, which are toxic to animals that consumed in large quantities. Basically, we taste terrible. Well, that's good. Green Rangers! Let's all transform into butterflies together. Uh, first, let's pretend that we are larvas or caterpillars that just hatched from an egg. Oh, look! Milkweed! Time to pupate! Everyone, wrap your arms around yourself like this and pretend that you are in a chrysalis. Now it's time to slowly emerge. <gasps> Open your wings for the first time. Wow! Look at those beautiful butterflies! Now, let's pretend that we are flying north, like this! Speaking of flying north, it's time for us to migrate! Bye, Ricky! Bye, Green Rangers! Bye! I want to thank my good friend, Monica, for joining us today. And I'll see all of you next time on Zoom Animal Chat. Hey, a bandit! Let me see that Christmas drawing again!